This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection, and service. Hey, hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hyra Canucks, and we have a very exciting GPU review today for you. Not because we haven't seen an all-in-one cooler integrated for cooling on the graphics cards before, but this one is exciting because of a collaboration between MSI and Corsair to release this edition of the GTX 980 Ti Seahawk. The price premium on this one is $100 over the reference, bringing it to a whopping $750 US and over $1000 for us in Canada. Ouch. So this collaboration between Corsair and MSI brings us a beautiful looking card with a hybrid cooler. So we still have the blower style fan to cool the VRMs and other PCB components, while the GPU is cooled via the Corsair H55 solution. The logo of which can be found through the transparent window. The 120mm radiator is standard, 25mm thickness and an illuminated fan with a light blue LED uh, for the cooling power. The tubing here is threaded to match Corsair's other all-in-one CPU coolers. Uh, it's plenty flexible, but lengthwise, I'd say mounting location is pretty much only limited to rear exhaust or the top. Now, I love the aluminum backplate with overclock series embedded in the center right behind the GPU core, but the only questionable design choice here is the color combination. Well, it's yellow. The MSI logo on top of the card is illuminated, and thus for those with particular color needs, you might need to mod the color yourself, or it can be actually turned off through NVIDIA's GeForce experience. Now we actually use this card in our main editing workstation machine video that you can check out in the description, but here is what it looks like in its natural habitat, surrounded by other hardware. Being a 980 Ti, the power requirement is not any different with 8 plus 6 pins, but power consumption is slightly higher than the rest of the 980 Ti's, and that's in part because cooling is so efficient that the card runs just under 1400 MHz on the core, which is a fantastic result, but not too far off uh, the air-cooled competition. The I.O. remains unchanged from the reference with triple DisplayPort, HDMI 2.0 and DVI. Now, unlike other integrated water cooling solutions, the Seahawk card requires you to plug the fan header into your motherboard, and thus it is controlled by the user and is not dynamically controlled by the GPU itself. The blower style fan, on the other hand, is controlled by the GPU. Uh, nothing surprising here, it can be manually adjusted via uh, GPU driver software like MSI Afterburner. So be aware that different fan profiles on your motherboard header will affect both the acoustics and cooling performance for that main radiator fan. And here we set it to low standard and turbo fan profiles through the motherboard that give you slight variation in temperatures and we recommend the just standard profile as that provides the best balance of acoustics and performance. There's about 5 degree deltas between all three fan profiles, but still outstanding cooling result regardless. So now, onto the benchmarks.
So now that you've seen all the results, the Seahawk card has uh, plenty of expected overclocking headroom that is still limited by Nvidia's voltage locks, but the end result is a satisfactory 1520 megahertz on the core and 8074 megahertz on the memory, with the fan header set to standard and running at a solid 50 degrees Celsius, delivering just a few extra frames on average, so it makes us happy. And in conclusion, the 980 Ti Seahawk is exactly what we expected it to be, delivering outstanding clock speeds, good temperatures, and fairly low noise levels, provided you set an appropriate fan profile. If only both fans were controlled by the GPU for less to do work for the user out of the box, now that would have been fantastic. This Corsair and MSI collaboration makes for a strong statement though between the brands and likely won't be the last. And we're giving it the Harbor Canucks damn good award. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe for more similar content. And if interested, all relevant 980 Ti reviews will be linked in the description. I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.